You've linked your eBay account and Shopify store to Inkfrog. Your import is built and you're ready to start importing to list to eBay. But there are some sync settings that we need to review prior to importing. So let's take a few minutes to go over those settings together. To access your sync settings, navigate to settings, then store connector, and then select the settings button. The first settings on the page concern inventory sync between your store and eBay. If you're tracking your inventory within Shopify, you're able to sync inventory from Inkfrog to Shopify, as well as Shopify to Inkfrog with the settings toggled to the on position. If your products in Shopify are set to not track inventory, you may still toggle the inventory quantity sync settings to on, and Inkfrog will import your products with an eBay quantity of 1, and automatically restock your eBay quantity to 1 each time a sale of a product occurs on eBay. Inkfrog also offers the ability to sync orders to Shopify. When Sync Orders is enabled, Inkfrog will create an order within Shopify. Then, when the order is marked Fulfilled within Shopify, Inkfrog will update eBay with the carrier and tracking information. If you've enabled Order Sync, select the Settings link. The first setting is Fulfillment Service for All Products, which Inkfrog defaults to Manual. If you're using Shopify to send orders to Amazon, select Amazon Marketplace Web. If you're using Shipwire, be sure to make that selection here or you're also able to choose custom. Unfortunately, Shopify does not allow third parties to update the paid status of an order. Therefore, if delete orders to change paid status is enabled, Inkfrog will delete and recreate orders that have been created in Shopify by Inkfrog when the paid status changes on eBay. The easiest way to avoid this is to use the setting within your payment profile to require buyers to pay immediately. With email order paid status changes enabled, Inkfrog will send you an email notifying you when the paid status of an order changes on eBay that is linked to an order in Shopify. Shopify does not allow Inkfrog to create an order for a shipping address that is located in a country not defined within your Shopify shipping zones. This action chosen for invalid shipping zone action will be taken if we encounter such an eBay order. The options available include automatically create the shipping zone in Shopify, don't create the order in Shopify, or create the order using a dummy address. You may toggle on the eBay sales or tax inclusive setting if you include tax as part of the item price on eBay, for example GST, but want the tax to be displayed as a separate line item when we push eBay orders to your store. The temporary address will be used for orders we create in Shopify from eBay, if create the order using a dummy address is selected for your invalid shipping zone action above or temporarily when the buyer address is unavailable on eBay as is the case before an order is paid for. This address must be located in a valid shipping zone you have set up in Shopify. Once the settings are complete, select Save. With the Email Failed Orders option enabled, Inkfrog will email you if we fail to create an order in Shopify. This way you are notified of the order so that it may be processed. You're able to offer a lower quantity of products on eBay than the quantity that you have available on Shopify using the Allow Separate Inventory Quantity on eBay setting. This setting helps you to stay within your eBay seller listing limits if applicable, as well as helps to show a minimum quantity of inventory available on your eBay listings, which can help to create a sense of urgency in your potential customers making a purchase. If you enable separate inventory, the options to restock eBay inventory, as well as automatically restock eBay inventory are offered. The difference between restock and auto restock is that restock is based on restocking quantity on your store product, and auto restock is based on restocking due to sales that occur on eBay. If restock is toggled to the on position, there is a field below. You may leave this field blank or enter a numerical value. For example, if this field is left blank and if you have a quantity of 2 on eBay and the same product on Shopify has a quantity of 20 and you restock Shopify to a quantity of 30, which is an increase of 10, eBay will also be restocked 10 and changed to a value of 12. If you enter a value of 5 into this field and were to restock Shopify to a quantity value of 30 from 20, eBay would be restocked to a maximum value of 5. When enabled, the Auto Restock eBay Inventory option requires values to be entered. For example, if we wanted to set eBay to a maximum value of 5, we could enter when eBay quantity reaches 4, set to a fixed amount of 5. 
Then, when a sale occurs on eBay that reduces a quantity to 4 or below, Inkrug will check the available quantity on your store product, and as long as the quantity is available, will restock eBay back to a quantity of 5. If you choose to use the eBay quantity import limit, when you import products from Shopify, the eBay quantity will automatically be set to this amount as long as the Shopify quantity value is at or above this amount. If this field is left blank, the full Shopify quantity value will import. You're also able to sync title, description, and pricing from Inkfrog to Shopify, as well as Shopify to Inkfrog. If you intend on making any changes to the product title, description, or pricing for your eBay listings, we recommend turning off these sync settings in both directions. You're also able to share pricing from Shopify to Inkfrog or Inkfrog to Shopify. If you enable Shopify to Inkfrog, you're able to increase or decrease the pricing for eBay with the Set eBay Price to Sync setting. In this example, we've set the price sync to increase eBay 20% above store pricing for all imported products. We've done this by setting the value to 120% of the store price. If instead we entered 20 in the percentage field, eBay pricing would be set to only 20% of the store prices. You're able to sync sale prices from Inkfrog to Shopify as well as Shopify to Inkfrog, and there are a few options for sale price sync, so let's go over those. Sync sale pricing from Inkfrog to Shopify, if selected, the setting automatically revises store price when the sale price of the linked Inkfrog product is updated. This applies only to strike through pricing on eBay and not markdown manager prices. The options include ignore eBay sale prices, use eBay sale price as regular store price, or use eBay sale price as store sale price. Next is sync sale pricing from Shopify to Inkfrog. This setting will automatically revise Inkfrog product and eBay listings when the sale price of the linked store product is updated. The options include ignore store sale prices, use store sale price as the eBay regular price, Use store sale price as the regular eBay price and include store sale prices even if they're higher than the regular price. And use store sale price as eBay sale price. This last option requires that your eBay account use strike through pricing and not markdown manager and also requires eBay's approval for their discount pricing program. The last sale price sync setting is import sale price option. If enabled, when new products are imported into Inkfrog from your store, this setting determines how Inkfrog will treat products with sale prices. The options available match the options provided for the sync sale pricing from Shopify to Inkfrog setting. If your Shopify product runs out of stock, is deleted, or is hidden, Inkfrog can end the associated eBay listings early with these sync settings enabled. If you've enabled end eBay item if out of stock, there is an additional setting which is consider item out of stock if store quantity falls below. Increasing this value can help prevent overselling if there is a delay with Shopify updating Inkfrog after a sale on Shopify. For example, if we enter a quantity of 10 in this field, when Shopify quantity of a product reaches 9, Inkfrog will change the available quantity on eBay to 0. Import new variants will import any new variants added to a Shopify product to an eBay listing that already contains other variants and push new variants to store will do the exact opposite and will push new variants added at eBay or within Inkfrog to your store product. If there are variants of a product on Shopify that you do not wish to share with eBay, enable Allow Disabling Variants and in the Edit Listing page within Inkfrog you're able to disable specific variants of a product if the listing is not yet live on eBay. The import limit is useful if you have a large amount of products to import. Selecting No Limit will build your entire product catalog on the Import from Store page. If you select any other option, the selected value will build on the Import page and once it's complete, you may import those products to list to eBay or choose to import the next batch of products. To finalize your sync settings, select Save. You're able to return to your sync settings at any time to reconfigure the sync rules. Please carefully consider how the changes you may make will affect your existing and future product listings. Also, if you're uncertain about any changes you may make, please reach out to our customer care team by selecting the help icon within your account or simply email open at inkfrog.com. You're now ready to import your Shopify products to begin selling on eBay.